Happy New Year! Yeah, it's already a terrible start. It's January 6th, and I think we kind of all know what happened today. Super, super horrible day. I hope everyone is staying safe. Also, yes, this is a Pitbull sweatshirt. Caitlin got this for me for Christmas. <laughs> I love it. I have no idea where she got this, so don't ask. I have no clue. I filmed this video one of the nights I was in Oregon for Christmas break. Uh, found some very cringy things in my closet that I never thought that I would find. And yeah, let's have a good giggly time and let's forget about the state of the world right now. <laughs> but yeah, before we get started, we do have a sponsorship. Woo, bringing in the new year. And today we are sponsored by Honey. These days it feels like online shopping is the only shopping we do. Am I right or am I right? In-person shopping? Who does that? And that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. Come on in. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them while you're checking out. Basically, your online shopping bestie. We love a bestie. Here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks. And when you're checking out on one of the 30,000 supporting websites, Honey will pop up like a genie and all you gotta do is click the button that says apply coupons. And then you wait a few seconds while Honey searches for those coupons. For that particular website that you're on and if honey finds a working code you'll watch the prices drop right in front of you i personally use honey every single time because it's a no-brainer and i love a good discount and it always applies sexy little coupons for ulta or like sephora because makeup's so expensive so i love a good deal it's simple if you have a computer Honey should be on the computer. So get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com slash sarabasca so they know that I sent you. Thank you again, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into the absurdity that this video is. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but here you go. So, wow, I'm wearing nails, kind of. Wow! Remember like years ago <laughs> when I was doing YouTube and I always had my nails snatched? Different color every single video, like I really cared about my nails. But then I grew up and I had less time. I just never made time in my schedule to do my nails, like I was just like, who cares, right? But now that I have nails, I'm like, oh my god, I feel like a bad bitch. It, I don't know why it makes you feel so confident. Look at this nail. Are you kidding me? I got these for like $4 at Walgreens. They're like press-ons, but I'm like, they're something, you know, because all the nail salons are closed. But God, this one came off in my sleep. That's unfortunate. But look how cool I look now. There's like adhesive on it, but just ignore it. I have nails. So, um, does this look familiar? If it doesn't, I'm in my old room in Oregon. My mom bought this giant bedspread that says Kinda Sarah plastered on it. I'm pretty sure I've told this story before. It's not really a story, it's just a fact. This one girl at my high school was just selling merch <laughs> of mine, like of my name. And I didn't even know. She was like a freshman and I was a senior. She was just making money off of me and I had no clue. And my mom just thought it was my merch. Uh, anyway, this Christmas, I am vibing. Point blank vibing. I'm having the best Christmas. Christmas? Christmas? I am vibing this holiday season and I'll tell you why. Whenever I used to come back to Oregon during the holidays, I felt this pressure. I had to like meet up with all these people that I knew from high school and like childhood. I had to like go to like the only bar in my town every single night and like see everyone that I knew and like catch up with everyone. <laughs> but this year I'm vibing. I'm vibing. No pressure. The only bar in our town is closed, I think. If it isn't closed, then it's like, why are we going? Because it's small, it's compact. It's just like, no. I'm just relaxing, hanging with my family, catching up, watching movies together. Everyone was giggling, smiling. We got each other amazing gifts. The laughter was overflowing because there's been always these distractions. <laughs> 
The only thing that I want to do to describe the time that I'm having is this. Words can't describe it, it's only this motion. <sighs> so, what are my plans? <laughs> What is this video? I was in my old room and I'm like, I wanna film something, but I have no idea what to fucking film. And then I was looking in my closet and I found the cringiest shit ever. I always forget the type of person that I was in middle school until I find shit like this. And I really would just like to share a few things. Do y'all remember in that diary video, there was that one guy, I forgot what I named him in that video, but he destroyed me <laughs> in high school. He played with my heart like a little ventriloquist. He was fucking playing my ass. I was whipped. I'm only showing you guys this because y'all are my friends. Yes. Okay, I found this in the deepest, darkest corner of my closet. This is a drawing that I drew when I was heavily emotional in this room. I think I was a sophomore. Yeah, I was a sophomore. I was laying in bed, highly emotional and fragile because he wouldn't text me back. That was it. And I cannot believe I'm like just showing you this. When I tell you that I made the loudest animal-like noise. This is what I was imagining. I had a volleyball game and he had a football game. I sprinted at the end of my volleyball game so I could catch the last quarter of his football game. I walk into the stadium, two minutes left, and then the buzzer goes off. I'm in my volleyball gear still. I gave myself a fatty. Our heads are pressed together, not even kissing, just the heads pressed. Me inhaling that B.O. Him licking the sweat off of my forehead from running. That after football game musk that men just have that's actually the most disgusting smell of all time. I'm loving it. He took his helmet off. The whole stadium's right there. Glow sticks, BTS concert vibes. Got the cheerleaders cheerleading for us. We're the only ones on that fucking field. What the hell is that? And you know what's so fucked up about that? Is while I was drawing that in my bed, listening to like Beach House <laughs> or like the XX or just like something so deeply angsty teenage Sarah. While I'm drawing that listening, I just imagine it just cuts to him and what he's actually doing. Uh, fucking some, some random girl. He's just fucking some uh, random girl. Uh, me in bed sketching this out every time my phone would light up and it was like a facebook notification i'd be like <gasps> and then always at like 1 a.m he would text me so beautiful i would grab my phone look at it be like <laughs> reality he's just laying there the bitch is passed out in the bed anyway found that and then you know what i found with that oh my god i found this note inside of it and i'm like what the hell could this possibly be i was like is this another drawing are we on the basketball court now and it's a long ass note <laughs> in cursive that's when you know that I'm fucked up. And so I start reading this. My cursive's actually kind of fire. I have great handwriting. And I'm like, holy shit, this came out of me? With every appearance by you, blinding my eyes, I can hardly remember the last time I felt like I do. You're an angel disguise, and you're lying real still, but your heartbeat is fast just like mine. And the movie's long over. That's three that has passed, one more is fine. Will you stay away from me? I don't wanna miss anything. I will share the air that I breathe. I'll give you my heart on a string. I just don't wanna miss anything. And I'm reading this like, damn, like this is kind of fire. I'm trying, <laughs> this is so sad. This is so heartbreaking. I'm trying real hard not to shake. 
I'm biting my tongue, but I'm feeling alive. This is just because the bitch wouldn't text me back. And every breath that I take, I feel like I've won. You're my key to survival. And if it's a hero that you want, I can save you. Oh, girly. Your whispers are priceless. <laughs> your breath is dear. <laughs> Ew. Your breath is dear. And then I was like, there's no fucking way that I wrote this. Because it sounded really familiar while I was reading it. And I was like, these can't be my words. This can't be me. I was not that deep of a human. I was obsessed with like One Direction. So I'm like, I'm gonna look this up. I typed in the first two lines. Secondhand serenade song called Awake. And I was so fucked up over this kid that I wrote the entire lyrics to the song. After drawing that picture of us on the football field with our foreheads pressed against each other. Like, so that was a hoot to find that. Oh my God. <laughs> if you thought that shit was cringy, I found something else. Do you guys remember those books and it was just like AIM conversations, instant messaging? I forget what it's called. It's, it's called like TTYL or some shit. I was obsessed with those. I made my own version of those like AIM stories and they're horrifying. These are literally the cringiest pieces of content I have ever physically seen with my eyes. My older sister and all of her friends were always talking on AIM and I thought it was the coolest shit ever. None of my friends had it because they were too young. Like I was like in fifth, sixth grade and my sister was like in eighth grade. Every day after school, I would get on AIM and I would talk to myself and I would create these typical teenage storylines. These make no sense. I was in fifth grade, so what is that? Like nine, 10 years old? First of all, this is the cover, AIM Crisis. It's a crisis. You would look at this and you'd be like, oh shit, it's gonna be crazy. She put crisis and she underlined it seven times in a tornado fashion. This was my version of a hardcover. I just glued a bunch of pieces of paper together. TY Freak 62, I collected TY Beanie Babies. I was obsessed. You could say that I was a TY Freak. And then there's Roxy Kisses. I don't get that. I think that I really liked the brand Roxy. You know, like Roxy Billy Mo Billy Bong? <laughs> Billy Bong, Billabong. I really like those, you know, like kind of surfer girl brands. <laughs> TY Freak says, hey. Hey, um, how are you? Because I'm like. TY Freak says again, hey. <laughs> yeah, so how are you? I'm good, how about you? LOL, I mean how? LOL, you are so funny, LOL. Yeah, I'm also doing good. LOL, that's awesome. You know what? I love saying LOL. LOL! LOL, me too. Ah. Ah. I love writing on AIM. Yeah, I know. me just talking to myself. I'm just sitting there on the computer. I'm on my computer and then I have my dad's laptop right next to me. Okay, you know how we are typing to each other? Yeah. Do you really wanna know? Yes, get on with it. <laughs> I said with it. Get on with it. I don't know if I did that on accident or if I really like just meant like get on with it. Okay, okay, geez. Just tell me already. Hold on, let me feel comfy. Please go or I'm gonna block you. Okay, 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 okay. I know someone's screen name. Hoops, hoops, hoops. Spit it out. Ashley's. Ah! Yeah, I know. Uh, what is it? It's a uh, Ashley fashionable times two queen. That is so, so, so weird. Oh, wait, my bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's actually Callie Girly. She said she will sign on. Ah! First of all, what in the hell was that? 
what in my brain was like, yeah, her screen name is Ashley Fashionable times two queen. And then me again gets insecure by me calling it weird. And then me saying, oh wait, no, it's not actually. It's Cali girly, which is not better. I like literally saw my anxiety firsthand in fifth grade. Oh wait, no, sorry. Yeah, that's so dumb. It's actually Cali girly. And then I even fucked that up again. It's not Cali girly. It's Cali honey. My mistake. Hey. Hey, how are you? I heard that you broke your leg. Um, I didn't break my leg. Oh, yes you did. You did. Do you hate me or something? Of course not. Um, it sounds like it, all these years. Hey, you know what, Ash? Back off, woman. What did you say to me? I said to back off. Can you hear me now? Hello. What the heck? I'm Ashley's mother, young lady. Do you want me to call your parents about what you just said to Ashley? Oh, and no. Um, actually, we were just playing a game, and I'm all mad at her and stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Collie. We all make mistakes. <laughs> oh! Okay, darling. Bye-bye now. Bye, Mrs. Collie. You are such a fat liar. Me? Moi? Oh, I was talking to you, all right. Listen, you are a dork, 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 dork. Okay, fine. Shut up and listen. I think it's cool that you hate me, because I hate you too. Hey. Why are you saying hey when I'm mad at you? Because I'm a bad person. Hello. Is this Mrs. Collie? Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are darling. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Collie. You're sweet as a rose. Telling Ashley that you are a darling girl. What what exactly does she say, Mrs. Collie? <laughs> oh well, she just puts her head down and walks away. Do you know why she does that, Miss Adams? Oh no, no, ma'am, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> who who has a mom? This is so weird. Going on to your fifth grade child's AIM and like talking to her friends. This is so not okay. Hello, Miss Sanchez. <laughs> Excuse me, but may I say who's writing? <laughs> say? <laughs> Tell Christina to never talk to my daughter ever again. Ashley's kind of scared. Uh, I don't know. Please, 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 please. Okay, but she is very sensitive. Uh, there. Thanks again. Yo. How are you? I mean, I'm good. Listen, I'm sorry, but I need to tell you something. Uh-oh. What is it? I was... I was talking to Mrs. Collie. So? She told me to tell you that you may never speak to Ashley again on the computer because she saw what you wrote and... Ashley told her that you were lying about the we're just playing thing. I'm... I'm sorry. BRB. I'm gonna go get some hot dogs. Um, okay. Hey. Did you tell her? Yeah. She, she said. BRB, I'm gonna go get some hot dogs. She said. Nah, yeah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you friends with her? If you are, you're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freak. What? I'm friends with her, so I'm a freak. <laughs> no, you are friends with me. Best friends. <laughs> Both of the first letters in our name start with A. Who cares? That doesn't mean you have to be best friends with someone for that only reason. Yeah. 
I don't want to talk. Why? I'm depressed. By what? By Ashley. I'm done. I'm done being your best friend. Goodbye. Wait, hold on! What's wrong with me? You are her best friend. Your best friends with the enemy. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Stop! Now! I I'm not her best friend. She, she asked, and I denied her. I would ne I would never be best friends with her. Ew! Yuck! <laughs> Why do they just call each other air conditioners in the end? What the fuck was that? And you know what's the worst? I have an AIM Crisis 2. And you know what? I really stepped it up on the cover. All right. Welcome to Drama Land. Who will be the one that sinks? Carly? Candy? Or will it be Nicole? And then I got AIM Crisis 3. And I really said, fuck the cover. I don't care anymore. I want to get this content out. And I don't have any time to work on that. And then when you think it stops there, I got an AIM Crisis 4. And I went back with the, with the old cover pick. This time it's in pink. Then I found this drawing that I drew of Harry Styles. He literally looks like an 80 year old man with dentures. Actually, he looks like he has no teeth at all what but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this little video happy new year it's gonna be a great year we got this i believe in us okay brand new start can't get much worse than this uh so i have some really exciting things to announce actually this week um get ready it's like huge it's like a huge step for me and i'm really nervous and i'm really excited about it but I just know you guys are going to fucking love this for me and for you. It's going to be great. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. All that shit. Love ya.